Hey, how's it going, everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink. Today, I am joined with Maria, owner of Diamond Property Group in Auckland, New Zealand. How are you today, Maria? I'm great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. You know, we're looking for the tr most trusted businesses throughout the world. And uh, your business really stood out to me. I found you guys on Instagram, and you guys have a great business going on, which great job on that. If you could, just tell the audience real quick what it is you guys do and you offer it. Okay, so the big mission is we help hardworking New Zealanders to become financially independent by investing in residential property. So that's what we do, and that's the big picture. And what we do is we provide qualified, unbiased property advice to first time investors as well as well experienced investors. We source um, mainly brand new properties or of the plans, and there is a range of benefits that comes with that, but I probably won't cover it during this interview. And we also provide a very comprehensive approach because we understand that most of our clients, they are families, they've got their careers, they've got kids, they've got hobbies, social commitments, and it's quite hard for them to find the property by themselves and make sure that everything is structured so we actually take that work off their shoulders and do it for them so we make sure we they have tenants in place they've got the right insurance the right landlord insurance we do the mortgage advice and just make sure that no stone is left unturned sounds like a no-brainer we should all get started right now just listening to that sounds like you take care of it really all the headaches and everything that goes into that. I think that is really great. So the, you know, the type of services are the investments, the properties, and you said the normal person that comes to you is like a family and what's the age range? Uh, so probably somewhere from mid thirties to mid fifties. So that's our target audience. So it's someone who is employed, they've got normal jobs, normal incomes, they've got a mortgage on their own home, but they also have got some equity. So someone who's owned their house for about five to 10 years. So yeah, typical family suits our profile very well. So and we, we've got lots of clients like that. All right, I think that's great. Thank you for offering that. You know, I'm sure it helps out a ton of people. If you could, if you could share your story real quick, you know, why you started this business? What was the, the mission behind this to get you to where you're at now? Yeah, so I started this journey 10 years ago, and I started working as a personal assistant in a property investment company. And for the first six months, I had no idea what the company was all about. So I was just doing, you know, taking the dry cleaning and doing my PA duties. And then I sat in a meeting that they had with their consultant, and I learned that in New Zealand and also in other countries such as Australia, um, USA, um, United Kingdom, there is this massive problem, which is the government doesn't have enough money to support people in their retirement. Okay, so for example, in New Zealand, the single person is going to retire on about $385 a week. No so um, that is not a lot of money, and I would imagine it's a very similar situation in the USA. Um, and then I've learned that property investments can be a fantastic vehicle to achieve that financial independence and really get yourself financially ahead. And so I started studying the subject in a lot more detail, and I got so passionate about it. And I just sort of rose through the ranks, and two years ago, I set up my own consultancy. So that is one reason. So basically, it's helping people in their retirement or set themselves, set them up for retirement. My second reason for having my business is a lack of financial literacy, because um, people don't know what they don't know. You know, your bank is not going to call you tomorrow and say, hey, we've got this great product that can help you to pay off your mortgage 15 years faster. Like, they're not going to do that. The government is not going to invest on your behalf in order to build up this amazing, you know, portfolio for you that you can um, live off in your retirement. Um, the taxman is not going to call you and say, hey, do you know that we've got incentives in place to help you reduce your income tax by 30 to 50%? The thing is, 
all of that exists, you know, all of that information is out there, but you have to seek that. And I understand that most people, they don't seek that because they are busy doing, you know, what they're doing. And once again, working, running around their kids, like our lives are so busy. And then we come in and we say, you know what, your life can be better. And in 10 years time, because that's all we take, 10 years, it's a full economical cycle, you're going to be probably in three, four investment properties, you're going to have about $2 million in equity, and you know you will not have the worries you've got today. And we show them how to structure everything. So those were my two reasons for that, you know, get me out of bed every morning. So it's not just, you know, for the sake of recommending the property, it's actually something bigger. It's to help people get financially hit. So yeah, you know, that's why I started my own business. I think that's awesome. I think you touched on actually a lot of good points that most people don't think about, right? In their thirties, forties and fifties, right? Maybe right after 50, they start thinking about it, but you know, what are you going to do when you retire? And are you, do we have time to learn all of this? You know, I don't have time to learn all the ins and outs and what's going to work and what's not going to work. So I think what you offer is perfect. You have the knowledge you've done, you know, you have the experience. So I think that's really cool that you found a problem. Now you're helping people with that problem. Yeah. And I suppose just one more reason why I actually decided to set up my own consultancy instead of um, working for one of my competitors is that uh, we really pride ourselves on providing um, good quality advice and not compromising anything and being really transparent. So that's another thing for me. Like I see people making mistakes all the time, you know, people who could be our potential clients, for example, you know, and they make very costly mistakes and they either make them because of their own fault or because they receive bad advice that's based that's more of a sales pitch as opposed to actually quality advice that's based on facts statistics knowledge so we um you know we don't have to sell anything because what we say makes sense it's logical and then we just have to find that emotional motivation from our client to actually go ahead with things because we all know what we need to be doing, but we also need to have that emotional commitment to actually, um, you know, get through the next three weeks of doing the due diligence, getting the finance organized. And then three weeks later, you're the owner of the new property. Yeah. Even some of the things you've already mentioned, I'm already ready to sign up with you. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> we have to help. So. Yeah. Well, I think that's great. Now, now I want to hear about maybe one of the struggles that you've come across starting the business. And, you know, I know we all have some things that we do that are really, really good and we see really good success, but then there's some things we do wrong or that we have to experience first before, you know, growing and while growing the business. Okay. So I'm going to give you some really honest answers here. And I guess, you know, these answers will hopefully help someone who is looking to start their own business or who is going through those um, steps themselves. So one struggle that I've had was a cash flow, of course, you know, and I find not a lot of starting people mention that, but of course that was a major component. It resulted in a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. Um, so that was one thing. And I suppose, you know, we, at, at the beginning of, setting up the business you tend to spend the money on things that actually don't matter um, the clients are not going to care whether they sit in a five thousand dollar chair or in a five hundred dollar chair <laughs> they care about the service you can provide to them um, similar thing with um, you know branding sometimes as well so there is a lot of trial and error you know sometimes i would spend money on certain marketing um, and get no response, not even one inquiry. Uh, but that's a learning exercise. So I think it's important to do your cash flow. And I've definitely had those struggles. It wasn't easy. Like my lifestyle had to change and my priorities had to change. And, you know, instead of buying a new pair of shoes, I was like, well, do I invest this money into the shoes 
or into my business, which will, you know, feed me in the long term. So yeah, priorities quickly had to change, but it was for the better. It taught me a lot of great lessons. Um, so yeah, a lot of people think that it's going to be three months of pain and you're going to become this entrepreneur. It's going to be great. You're going to have flexibility and it's far from that, you know, it's just constant stress, constant pressure. But you know, if, if, if it was easy, anyone could do it. <laughs> exactly. And you know, I think the internet shows the good stuff, right? You exactly. a lot of people only show the success online. So people get into business thinking they're going to have all this success right away. That's why I like asking that question. I like getting that honest answer from you because I think that's going to help somebody more than your success. We think it's awesome that you're successful, that you're getting clients, you're helping them. But what is something that we can all learn, right? And, uh, and just be patient. I think patience is key. And I know I can tell that you've already been patient. Absolutely. And, you know, I... Uh, and, and what I've done is actually started listening to a lot of great um, international businessmen. And one of them is, for example, Gary Vee. And he's so honest, so humble. And he, like, <laughs> I liked one of his sayings that he said. And I keep um, reminding myself of that all the time. And he, he said, be prepared. <laughs> um, excuse my language, but he said, be prepared to eat shit for the next five years. So then you can enjoy career and you know it's that patience like you said it's so important in today's world where everything is available to us so quickly we forgot about what delayed gratification actually is um and so you know we need to really go back to those basics and you know just work 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 for the first two years that's what you do and then you know you will see the results the other thing that I've experienced is a lack of confidence as well. So I doubted myself. I was on this emotional roller coaster all the time. Um, so, and sometimes feeling desperation, that's not good. So no matter what hard times you go through, I would recommend people to stay very positive, very confident, but it's probably the cash flow that's going to keep you positive as well. So if you can, make sure that you can pay your bills then you're not going to be desperate and you know clients will enjoy dealing with you because you're not putting yourself or them under pressure to you know commit to anything so that's quite important too yeah and if you kind of play hard to get because you're set right that's going to make people want to work with you even more yes yes that's uh, that, that's right absolutely yeah okay so we talked about the struggles that's thank you for sharing that uh maybe let's talk about the two things that you've done right to grow your business and I think that you've already touched on it the relationship so with the people building that relationship first I think that's something you're already doing and that's what has made you successful so far is that one of the biggest things that you uh, focus on there uh, you know you actually so spot on I, I've made some notes for um, you know certain things that I wanted to say during this interview and things that uh, make us successful um, one is we are very proactive in our business in terms of um, you know as a business owner uh, we are very proactive in seeking new clients so you know I'm not just going to put up a post on Instagram or Facebook and then sit there and wait for my sales to turn up or for my clients to come in. So no, you know, we do a lot of cold calling, warm calling. So it's constantly hunting new business. Like you have to, this is the most important thing. You know, there is no problem that more sales can't solve or more clients can solve. So that's one thing that I've been really focused on is it's about how much productive work you actually do you know how much business do you generate so you know it's not about how much time you spend on social media or um you know <laughs> designing your business card whatever it's actually doing about the hard yards and going out there and getting business so that's something we've been really focusing on and i can see it has been paying off and the second thing is um customer service you know, I treat my clients like royalty, like VAP, because at the end of the day, it is because of them, my business can exist and survive and, you know, I can um, <laughs> as well. So it's, my clients are my top priority. Their financial well-being especially is even higher priority. I'd rather them hurt than, you know, 
sorry, I'd rather <laughs> myself hurt them than yeah, hurt them. That was a good one. Getting bad advice from me. Yeah. Well, I think that's great. And that's, you know, I'm glad that you did this interview because you're giving me the truth. You're telling me that the relationships are key, that you're patient and that you'd rather put your clients first um, before yourself. Yeah. So I think that's awesome. That goes a long way as a business owner. Yeah, and if we've got a few seconds, just one more thing that I sort of found really worked for me is keeping a finger on the pulse at all times and paying attention to details. Um, that was really important because if you let go, drop the ball, you can easily, you know, lose a great client. So it's important to just um, do the best you can, pay attention to detail, keep making phone calls, follow up, follow up, follow up, and, you know, get the deal over the line, basically. Yeah, I think communication is key also. You know, I always following yeah. up, like you said, if you're communicating to them, they'll, they'll stay happy. Yes, yes. Uh, don't, you know, <laughs> don't, give people, don't give people bad surprises. Absolutely. All right, Maria, we're all ready to sign up and work with you. Everybody watching. We've gotten to know you, sharing your information and taking the time. Anybody watching, we definitely recommend Maria Diamond Property Group. Reach out to her. So tell us exactly where we can find you, and uh, we'll make sure we post the links, whatever you mentioned. But where are you the most active, and what's the best way to reach out? So I would say the best way to reach out is go on our website. It's www.diamondpropertygroup.co.nz. Um, and there are a couple of contact forms. There are also contact details. You can email us as well. So everything is on our website. You will also find a lot of great information. Um, and the second place is either Facebook or Instagram. So it's www.facebook.com slash Diamond Property Group LTD. And I'll, and I'll make sure I post this. A big pardon? I'll make sure I post those links so they can just click on them easily. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. Real quick, I did look at your website and it did, I saw the personality in there. I saw the relationship building in there, the things that you mentioned and um, you know, you related with your customers. I thought that was awesome. So good job with that. Thanks. And I also just want to uh, let you know that we have changed a few things on our website. So the newer version is going to be coming out um, on Monday. So there is going to be more in about us page as well. So there will be more of uh, our photos because at the moment there is sort of nothing there. So we'll put up a couple of photos so people can actually you know, put the face to the voice, voice to the face, you know who they're dealing with. Yeah, exactly. I think the interview does that too. And I thank you for taking the time. Anybody watching, reach out to Maria. She sounds awesome. The business sounds great and definitely someone you can trust. So thank you so much for watching everyone. And thank you again, Maria. Brad, thank you so much.